So today we're in the kitchen and Sam is cooking us a meal. I'm not quite sure what it is. So what are you cooking for us, Sam? Well, today is a lesson on how to make Thai chicken without all the ingredients. Sounds good to me. <laughs> so what have we got? Okay, so we have chicken. Chicken, chopped up. Chopped up chicken. Um, well, quite a lot of chicken. Well, mm -hmm. for four people. Okay. Coconut milk. Mm -hmm. In a tin. Um, in a tin. Is yeah. that normal? That'd be a Unless it's in a coconut, I think it'd be in a tin. Okay. Yeah. The tins don't grow in trees, they grow in... They grow in supermarkets. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What else you got? Over here we've got some garlic and ginger. Oh. This is a staple. This is a must, must have chicken yeah. and garlic. Got to have ginger. We should have chilli, nice fresh chilli, but we yeah. haven't got any. Okay. So we're going to use chilli powder. Right. It's the poor man's Thai chicken. Uh, it is. So we're just going to fling in anything we have. We've got some mushrooms. Nice mushrooms. Mm -hmm. the got there. Today, I think we have yeah. chestnut mushrooms oh, or something yeah, quite good. like that. Mm -hmm. so we'll fling in a few of them. A wee bit of onion. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to put in some sweet potato. Oh, you chop that up? Chop it up, parboil it beforehand. Fling it in. Bob's your uncle. Fling it in? Yep. Yeah, just okay. fling it all in. <laughs> In a pot. In a pot and with some coconut milk. This pot here. Yeah. Iron skillet. To if we had some kaffir lime leaves, we'd fling them in, but we haven't got them. So okay. There you go. What's the secret to good cooking? Speed. 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 Have to be fast. Okay. I can imagine. So normally I wouldn't use an onion like this. Normally I would use a couple of spring onions, make it into a paste with the onion, with the garlic and the ginger and the chilli. But we don't have a blender and we don't have spring onions. So chicken's good to go, onions chopped. I'm going to parboil these now, I'm going to pop these in the pot and then I'm going to chop my ginger and garlic and my mushrooms. So why are you boiling that water in the kettle? Just to put into the sweet what? potato. Uh, yeah. Just to get that cooking. Uh -huh. Speed things up a bit. Exactly. It will take too long to cook in the uh, coconut milk. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to tackle the ginger. All right. How do you do that? Well, a lot of people think you need to peel it. But you don't really, just take a, a knife or even a teaspoon and you just scrape it and it scrapes the scrapes the outside skin off. Oh. And then you chop it. Okay, into okay. what? Slices or? No, nope. in this case we'll cut it because I would normally be using a blender, so as small as you can. So I've just got the onion here with the garlic ginger chopped up finely with some cumin and chilli. Fresh chilli pe preferably, but we don't have that. And we've got some mushrooms which I've chopped, so I'm just going to put them all into the pan now, get them cooking. So I'm just going to let the onion cook for a wee minute first, just to get it started, and then we'll put the mushrooms in. Mushrooms take longer to cook than you think. Okay, just put the mushrooms in now. So those onions have cooked a little bit? cooked a little bit, just soften them a wee bit. Mm -hmm. Sauté, we'll is that the one? Sauté, indeed. Right, we'll let those mushrooms cook out a wee bit. They'll take a wee while. Yeah, and then we'll add in the garlic and ginger and spices. This is taking ages, I'm starving. I'm going to steal one of James's cakes. I thought there was more than that. Running out here. I don't know. Yeah. Cake gremlin. Oh. Hmm? Cake gremlin. Do you want one? No, thanks, I'm full. <laughs> okay, this is smelling really good now. Mushrooms are cooked down a bit. Mushroom uh, and the onion. Just gonna add in the chicken now. And then I'll add in the spices as well. Okay, now we're putting in the spices. If I had a paste, I'd be putting it in now. Can you paste? Um, paste? A Thai curry paste, um, obviously. Would you, but we haven't got one. Would you buy that in the supermarket? 
You can. You can buy them in jars. Or, you make or you can just make your own. It's very simple. Blend up some cumin seeds, coriander seeds mm -hmm. that you've previously toasted and pounded. Mm -hmm. um, some spring onion. Loads of garlic, loads of ginger. And a chilli or two as well. And just put it all in. Maybe a wee bit of soy sauce to lubricate it. And that's it. So that's it basically. I'm just going to let that cook out and then I'll add in the coconut milk. Okay, rice is in here. I don't have a proper lid. So we're just using a makeshift lid of another pot. Uh, cooking the rice with some chicken stock and some cumin powder. That's all. Could you give that a quick stir please, James? What's happening now? Just opening the coconut milk. Okay. Gonna cut fine actual coconuts. No. Nope. We got this from a Whoa. coconut cow. Indeed. How did you know? We're going in. Is that the kind you normally use? Uh, nope, it's a different brand. Never used this one before. So we'll but just... I mean, like, oh. Would you normally use fresh, not a tinned one? Always tinned. Yeah. Always tinned. Well, we're getting close now, are we? Yeah, but nearly forgot. Sweet potato. Uh -oh. Voila. Right, mm. we'll just heat that up, heat everything through, and that'll be us. Normally I put fresh coriander in at the end, but we haven't got any of that either. Because... Sam's kicking up a storm here for four people. Whereas I can't even cook for a dog. Because she never touched it. Right, that's it. Good to go. Put it on the table. Help ourselves. Et voilà. What's it called? Sam's Thai chicken, but it's not Thai chicken. Well, how is it? Delicious.